everyone and welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to be talking about a notebook. And not any notebook, a very, very popular notebook, the Midori Traveler's Notebook. So I believe it's just called Traveler's Notebook now. I'm pretty sure they've dropped the Midori name to it. Um, but I purchased these back in like, oh boy, 2012. So when I purchased them, they were called Midori and they do have the Midori uh, name stamped on them. So for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna call them the Midori Traveler's Notebook, but I think they're just Traveler's Notebook now. These are very popular notebooks. They have a cult following. Um, they are widely popular because of the Tomoe River paper that's in them. Uh, and you can get multiple different sizes and different finishes. So this is the passport size, uh, which is kind of small. You know, there's my hand. Uh, it's, so it's basically the size of my hand with the exception of my fingers. Uh, and then this is the full size notebook. Um, so, you know, it's obviously much bigger uh, than the little guy. Um, it's about double the size, roughly. So two sizes, um, both pretty pricey. I don't remember the uh, cost off the top of my head. I will put it down below uh, because I, like I said, I bought them in 2012, so I don't particularly remember. Um, but the notebooks themselves are held together by a little elastic band. Um, so it's all, it's leather um, covers, completely leather, and it's held together by a plastic band that you just flip around, and then it kind of just hangs on the back. Um, you can change out these bands here are not the original bands that they came with. Um, this one I believe came with a black band. This one came with a brown band. It does come with a couple, um, but I chose to change them. Um, so that's why I have a different color, uh, which is pretty cool because you, the beauty of these and why they're so popular is because they're almost 100% customizable. Um, so you can really make them your own. Um, when it opens up, it's literally just a leather cover with all of the notebook contents held together by a band that's on the inside. Um, and then that is where you thread whatever you want through. So when I open mine, I have a little clear wallet um, that is like just kind of like zippered open and shut. Um, I have like a really tiny ruler in there, some paper clips, it's just kind of random. Um, and that flips through to the back side of the notebook because everything will wrap around that band. So in that clear wallet, it's supposed to be for credit cards. I don't use it for that. Um, I've just got some like random fortunes that I liked. Um, you know, it says, do not underestimate yourself. You have unlimited potential. Uh, and then the other one I have, I thought was just funny. <laughs> Others appreciate your good sense of humor. <laughs> uh, I got a sticker from something that I don't even remember now, I just liked it. Um, and then I have like the little traveler's notebook passport size uh, that it came with. And I have two notebooks. So this blue one here uh, is a lined notebook um, that I have like an old Goulet Pens ink drop uh, from. And then it was originally gonna be a Thoughts From Places, so I was gonna take this traveling, which I never ended up really doing. Um, so it ended up turning into like a pen and ink thoughts kind of thing, um, where I would literally just try different pens and ink uh, and write what I thought about it. Um, and that was basically it. Um, you know, I, <laughs> I used to date everything too when I would like try it out. Um, and this was like just as I was beginning to get into the hobby. So I don't even really make sense in half of these. Like this was, you know, what, 2014 was that one, 2015 was that one. Um, so just a lined little notebook. Uh, and then when that notebook is done, I do have another one, which I've sort of put a, a photo on and put like some, you know, washi tape on it just to make it my own and have fun. 
Um, I also have another clay pen sticker. Could you tell who I was a fan of back in the day? I still am, but I just, you know, don't remove the sticker. Um, and then this one uh, is a blank one that I just used for a brain dump. So it's literally like, I started doing this before I journaled. Um, so just every once in a while, I would, you know, put a little, put a little thought into that. So, you know, like got 2014 Christmas into 2015. I just kind of like stippled some stuff, just really random, you know, it's new years. I'm going to cover out what I wrote there. Cause it's actually kind of personal, you know, just a little Calvin and Hobbes thing. Just kind of make it whatever you want. Um, you know, so I did that up until about, oh, when was the last thing that I dated? <laughs> oh, I don't even have a date on that one. That's nice. But I think it was about January of 2015. Um, and the journal itself does come with a little string so that no matter what notebook you're in, you can use uh, a little bookmark for where you are. And then what else do I have? I have a little cardboard holder here that just kind of like can hold whatever you want. Clearly I don't really use it, it's just there. Um, and then on the big one, I have pretty much the same thing. So I've got that, uh, you know, clear envelope thing with uh, some Hanson memorabilia because I flip and love them and I don't care who knows it. Uh, and then I got some, same thing like that holder yeah, in the other one. Uh, so same thing, I have my line notebook, I have a blank notebook, and then that's it. It's just on the other side, it's a, that um, clear thing from the beginning. So that's about it. I don't really use this one at all, as you can tell basically from the leather, which is like untouched. Um, so I don't really use that one. I used this one much more, um, which definitely has more markings on the leather. So I really like that this is customizable. You can do whatever you want to it. Um, they are built to last. Uh, like I said, I've had this since this one specifically from 2012. That said, I haven't really like, it's not like I, I take it with me every single day, absolutely everywhere. I'm not a purse or a satchel or anything like that person. So what I can't fit in my pocket, I don't take with me. And this definitely is not gonna fit in my pocket. Um, so I don't really take it with me. I have taken it on trips before, um, which is why it's a little marked on the leather, but from everything I've heard from the community as a whole and seeing as how long this has been around for, um, these are built to last. Um, you can get different inserts. You can get, uh, like the, the notebooks are refillable in the sense that when you fill one up, you just remove it and you pop in a new one and you're good to go. Um, so this leather outside um, basically is gonna last you forever, um, which is really, really cool. Um, the paper is pretty good. It is Tomoe River paper. Um, I have experienced some bleeding um, with, with some pens, um, especially you know when I was just writing my last video's notes, um, which was five tips for journaling. This was with the Pilot Varsity fountain pen. So really, really, really cheap fountain pen. Um, it did feather a little bit, um, which I thought was pretty interesting. It just has like random stuff in it. Um, for the most part, it's fountain pen friendly, but like I said, I have experienced some feathering. Um, one thing that I recommend if you use something like this is that it is meant for quick notes. Personally, I believe that. Uh, because if you journal for a long time, it's a pain in the butt and I don't like it at all. So what I've done is I've actually taken uh, a Gerbin, uh blotting paper that came in a sheet and I cut it to be the size of my notebook and I put a little bit of tape on the side um, to make a like pull tab. So that way, as soon as I'm done writing my note, I can pop this sheet in between the notebook page here just close it up real quick and I know exactly where this tab is therefore I know where I am uh, and I can close it you know wrap it up and be good to go without having to wait for the ink to dry because it is Tomoe River paper it does take a little bit of time um, and I like I said I believe that this notebook is supposed to be for quick 
on the go notes. I know that there's a cult following, so I know what I'm about to say. I'm going to get some hate comments for it. I don't like this. I just don't. Uh, I am not a quick note jotter. And if I do, I usually just write something on a random piece of paper that I can find somewhere um, or, or anything like that. I don't have the desire to grab this notebook. Whoa. <laughs> I have a window open and uh, it just blew everything over. <laughs> um, I don't have the desire to, to grab this, to open it up, find the page I'm at, force it to stay open because it doesn't stay open well. Um, now granted, I have a fair amount of things in here, but nothing compared to what I've seen. It's very hard to keep it open and, and write while it's forcing its way closed. Um, and this, this is annoying. So when you have it on a hard surface, this gets in your way. It's so difficult to write and it drives me freaking nuts. And it's the same thing on the large size. In fact, the large size, I actually have more of a problem than with the small size because the large size, when you open this up, first of all, it's significantly heavier. Ooh, I did the same thing with that and it just popped out. Um, and it just, it doesn't want to stay open. Even if this does, the actual notebooks themselves don't. No matter how many times I have tried to bake, like to break the, the spine and keep it open, it just doesn't do it. And again, this little knobby at the top gets in your way. So if you're gonna use something like this, you're gonna have to get like alligator clips or something to keep it open. Um, and I just don't see the point of that. I'm sorry, I know I'm gonna get hate for it, but I just don't see the point of it. I love the idea, um, and I, I do like that, that, that kind of quick on the go, sort of mm, quick jot type things. Um, I like the idea, I like the concept, I like the vibe that this gives me. Um, this gives me a, a really nice like sort of like a Indiana Jones type, you know, go travel the world, experience the world type thing. But I just, yeah, I don't know. It's not for me. That's what I'll say. So at the end of every video, I typically tell people, do I recommend purchasing this? I'm on the fence with this. It depends on what you want. If you're like me, who is a longer journal session person, like between 20 and 60 minutes, um, then I would say no, this is not for you um, because there's just too many annoyances when you're actually trying to write in it. Um, I've seen some people who share the same thought as me who remove the notebook, write in the notebook and then put it back. Again, I think that's too many steps. I just, it doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. If you literally are taking this on the go with you every day and you just write like quick lists in it, like a grocery list, a, you know, thoughts of what you want to talk about in a YouTube video or something like that. Um, or you take it traveling and you just want to write down like, you know, the names of places you've been to or something like that. Then I think that this would work just for quick notes on the go kind of thing. Um, and the size is definitely very convenient. Uh, it's definitely built to last. So that's a good thing as well. Um, but for me, it's just not practical in my life. It doesn't have a place in my life, basically. Um, this one I'll probably keep and I, I'm wanting to start using it more for something like this. Uh, this one I'm probably going to sell because I do have some blank inserts that I can put in that for people. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Um, I know, like I said, some people are ride or die between these. There are hundreds of videos that you can watch on how people use and customize and love this notebook. Um, but I unfortunately am just not one of those people. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts. Is it right for some people? Absolutely. Is it right for me? Not so much. Um, but guys, those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comment section down below. Stay friendly, please. Um, do you use the Midori Traveler's Notebook? Do you like it? Have you used it? Do you not like it? Um, 
all of all of the things. <laughs> um, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, which is just pens and tea. And guys, as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.